Would you looky here? We're at it again. So here we are. Things came a little late for me. This is our sound man, Sir Claytonius Maximus. He's greatly appreciated. Thank you, sir, for all your efforts. And also there's Victoria, our good friend, Victoria. Greeter and computer person, honestly. Thank you, girl, amazing, good stuff. Her mom's here too, how cool. And we also got this all set up, fun stuff. Well, before we get started tonight, here are some fun facts about me. Ooh, look, a pretty lady. Fact number one. This is the church that I was born and raised in, my home church. Amazing. Fact number two. I also help out with worship here. <sighs> Fact number three. We happen to have a problem and it's pretty way cool. Whoa. Thank you. 
to know him that much I want to know him and you know you think about Paul surely you knew him the wonderful visitation that Jesus made to him on the road to Emmaus surely you knew him yet in all that spiritual knowledge all that wisdom all that revelation he wanted to know Christ and as I was pondering that tonight Somehow I was led, and that spotlight is getting me, so I'm just going to, if you see me over here, that's because it's a spotlight's fault. That's better. I feel better already. <laughs> it led me to that wonderful book, The Song of Songs. And tonight I read that book through, that little, and that's quite a story. About a woman chasing a guy. And it's it, it as I read through it, all the imagery and all the all the the romantic 
the romance that in that book about a woman and a man in love. It was quite a picture. But then I realized what it was really about. It's about our love for God yeah. and his love for us. And he wants us to get to know his love, his wonderful relationship. Is it somewhere in the book, somewhere around the third chapter, somewhere around the fourth verse, roughly, um, she kind of lost track of me. And in, in, my, in my own words, I say, have you seen my heart's desire? She was looking for him. And that's our lifestyle. We want you tonight to be introduced to Jesus Christ. But beyond that, we want you to begin to pursue him. And he's worthy to be pursued. And as you get closer and closer to him, the glories that he begins to reveal will just change your life. I like this side better too. <coughs> Pursue Jesus Christ. Get to know him. Make that first step. That's what this is all about.
his name and to bring him glory and to be in his presence and to have fellowship with him. If that wasn't a good enough purpose, I can start all over. Okay, I'll start over. You guys aren't excited enough, so I don't know what to say. So here's the thing. There is a river that flows deep into the city of God. And when we get trickles that come down and when you get splashed on, we think that's it. That's the revival. But the real revival is deep down in your heart. And unless you take what you get splashed on you tonight and in church and wherever you go and you bring it into your everyday life so that when you're all alone and you say, Jesus, I got to have you more, that water isn't doing the thing it wants to do in you yet. It doesn't really change you and transform you the way it ought to yet because it's got to be Christ in you, the hope of glory. Now I better stop. But you know what? The evil one doesn't touch you. And if anybody said to you that you belong to Jesus but the devil's got you, just kick them out. You belong to Jesus. Well, hang on a second. Let's make sure. All right. Does anybody want to, for the, maybe a recommitment to Christ for the first time, just give your heart to Jesus. I'm, I'm just going to close my eyes. Let's just pray. Lord, if there's anybody here tonight, I pray that they just raise their hand before you if they want to say yes to you. Maybe it's the first time. Maybe it's a recommitment. But Lord, maybe something touched them. I just, everybody's got their eyes closed. If anybody wants to raise their hand, just raise it. Lord, you know everybody's heart tonight, and I believe water was splashed. Thanks for Emily doing that. Thanks for you, you doing that. But Lord, I pray that we would realize that this water is life-changing. When we get this radioactive Jesus Christ water, we get a new personhood. We get a new identity. We get a new start. Matter of fact, we got addiction breaking power in the Holy Ghost. Amen. We've got something that can change our lives around no matter what the addiction is, no matter what the problem is, no matter what our tendencies are towards sin, towards self, towards shame, towards running away from everything except going towards God. We thank you, Lord, that tonight we've got power in the cross, the power of the gospel and the salvation to them that believe. And, Lord, all we have to do is say yes. And I pray, Lord, tonight you reach down, not just for this service, Lord, but keep reaching down to us until we start saying more yes to you, more yes to you, Jesus. Less yes, less yes to us and what we want in our ways and our capacity to just be who we are. And more, Lord, 
going the way that is the way of the cross, which is a way, Lord, you said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. This way is a way of self-denial. This way is a way where we say, I'm done with me. I'm tired of me. I'm sick of me. Amen. Oh, Jesus Christ, be my all. Because if it's not you, I don't got anything. I thought I could build up my life without you. But, Lord, I see I don't have anything. Give me the living water. And Lord, your revelation says this, come unto me, all ye that labor. It says, come to me and drink this water. Come and drink this water. It's free. It's without price. But Lord, there is a price. There's a price. We just let go. Yes. We just let go and let God show us the way. I pray that the Lord would bless you tonight, cause his face to shine upon you. And as this week goes by and the next week, You'll find a place of fellowship. You're totally welcome to our church tomorrow, 11 o'clock service, 6 o'clock services. It's a prayer meeting tomorrow night. But wherever you go, I pray the Lord would go with you, that his face would shine upon you. And more than all that, that he alone would get the glory. Not Emily, not this pastor, not this church, but he alone. And I pray that the pureness of this living water would be something that each and every one of us says, yes, Lord, that's worth dying for, that's worth living for, that's worth everything. It has to be Christ. It has to be that living water. So thank you, Lord, for tonight, and thank you, Lord, for the fire. In Jesus' name. God bless.